If one machine defines our self-serve culture, it's this. The very first ATM opened in New York City in 1939. But it's only in the last 20 years that it's taken over. And it's got a lot of names. Automated teller, banking machine, cash point, or simply a money machine. The one we're looking at is an automatic teller machine, or ATM. And like the bank teller humans it replaces, the ATM identifies you, knows your limits, and provides access to financial transactions. It's also pretty much impregnable. Let's see how it works. ATMs face several challenges. First, make sure you and your card are legit. Second, find your account information. Third, accurately complete the transaction you want. And finally, do it all while protecting an onboard vault that stores thousands. The machine starts by checking your credentials. This black stripe looks solid, but the ATM has two readers that see what you don't. A million tiny magnets, each with a positive or negative charge. A binary code. The first reader looks for a special code that confirms the card is real. The second reader grabs your account number and password to check against what you've just keyed in. Once your password is confirmed, the ATM connects to your bank's network, and it gives the machine its marching orders and remotely controls access to the onboard vault. Trays in the vault hold different denominations, with up to a thousand bills in each. One tray is left empty for deposits. When you drop in a check or money with an envelope, it goes into a bin and is manually sorted later. Some ATMs, like this one, can take deposits without an envelope. It's able to hand count bills. This also allows the machine to refill itself. For withdrawals, vacuum-driven suction cups grab one bill at a time and feed it out through a roller system. Delivering bills one by one from the vault keeps you from getting overpaid. This machine is a very careful counter. As each bill squeezes through these rollers, sensors calculate the width of the paper, about the thickness of a coat of paint. Any thicker, the machine figures that two or more bills are stuck together. Any thinner, the bill's worn or fake. Either way, the sensors catch it, and the bills get sent to a reject bin. That's likely what's happening when you hear a pause in the machine's counting. The dispenser slot hands over your cash. Your bank's computer records the deal and then tells the machine to return your card and give you a receipt if you want one. Safe and secure. With more than 1.5 million ATMs around the world, most of us simply take our access to cash for granted. And crooks know it. Thugs go after them with blowtorches, crowbars, and trucks. But they don't stand a chance against this machine. Built from over 100 kilograms of steel, able to withstand 22 tons of blunt force, the vault can survive assault more than long enough for police to arrive. And even if they get into the machine, the money's useless. Exploding canisters of dye ruin the cash as soon as the vault's seals are broken. There's also onboard GPS to track the geniuses who try to haul them away. Brainier crooks use an electronic sleight of hand. One technique is to insert a false card reader or skimmer into the card slot and stick a tiny spy camera over the keypad to steal your password. Foiling them is as simple as protecting the number you enter. It took a long time for automatic tellers to evolve into the trusted machine it is today. And until we stop using cash altogether, this intelligent dispenser will continue to take our orders and track them with amazing accuracy.